Welcome back to Cybermaro and today I'll be asking ChatGPT how can AI or artificial intelligence I don't know why I thought I'd have to articulate what AI means <laughs> if you don't know what AI means and you probably shouldn't be watching this channel assists assist humans reaching their full potential and I've thought long and hard about this and I'm, I'm a bit of a spiritual person and I like um, you know the art of manifestation etc and the untapped potential of the human experience and I think that AI may have a, uh, a part to play in our evolution who knows AI can assist humans in reaching their full potential by providing them with tools and resources that can improve their performance and productivity well yes we know that and already we've seen universities ban chat GPT and Australian universities allow chat GPT um, I think that we're, we're looking at a paradigm shift in the way we do everything um, with the advent of technologies like chat GPT. I know it's not the only one out there. There's visual technologies, sound technologies. And honestly, we are in the wild west of uh, artificial intelligence. And I think we're going to be seeing so much more technology developed and refined and used in ways we would not have imagined. Um, it's, it's exciting times. It's scary times, I think, as well. Um, but I'm always the, the optimist. Automating repetitive tasks. Yes, AI can perform repetitive tasks with high accuracy. That's definitely um, something that can help, um, which can lead to job losses, I've got to say. Enhancing decision making. AIs can help humans make better decisions by providing them with insights and recommendations based on large amounts of data. I think that's probably the biggest advantage that AI can give is um, the ability to um, add value to what we're already doing and I think that if that doesn't impact on us in a, in a negative way then yeah that's a, that's a major advantage improving accessibility AI can be used to create technology that can help people with disabilities yeah for sure robotics facilitating learning um, why not and I think that's where the Australian universities have gone um, they have taken the stance well look the, the cat's out of the bag you know AI is out there, um, chat GPT and other technologies are out there. It's not going to go away. So why don't we embrace it? Why don't students just be upfront about that they're using it, but also enhance their learning? So maybe we can actually gain better knowledge by using AI. It can add value to university courses. Obviously, fear of the unknown. I think we're always going into that. Facilitating learning of sort of predict predictive ma maintenance. Yep. AI can be used to predict uh, when a machine may fail. Yep. Predictive anal analytics, yeah. So overall, so, <clears throat> but how can AI assist on a biological level re the power of the human mind and the fact we only utilize, whoops, sorry utilize a small portion of our brains and in <laughs> my intellect's not working very well Ooh. and look the jury's out on this one do we use our full potential I don't think we do um, there's a lot of um, evidence out there to say that we would only use a small proportion of our brain power AI has the potential to assist humans on a biological level um, by helping us to better understand and utilize the power of the human mind. Brain computer interfaces. Oh, that's crazy. That reminds me of a 1980s movie. What was that called again? I think it had um it had Jean-Claude Van Damme in it, I'm gonna say. And um there was data smugglers and they put brain um, interfaces uh, brain computer interfaces into their heads and they like smuggled data. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone in the comments tells me what that movie is, I can't remember what it was called. And I think Elon Musk was working on that, wasn't he? Um, cognitive enhancement. AI could use develop tools and techniques and help individuals improve their cognitive abilities. Yeah, like tools, apps, um, you know, medical treatments, etc. Mental health. AI can be used to analyze data, yeah, from brain scans and other sources to better understand and treat mental health conditions. Yeah, that's a good positive. Neuroscience research, brain-inspired AI. AI can be used to create models of the brain that can help us to better understand how the brain works. Yeah, so, okay, all positive stuff. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like if you like this um, 
this video and this channel. Um, I've got a multitude of different types of videos that I put out, a bit of news, a bit of humor, a bit of chat GPT and a bit of, um, uh, well, I suppose tech news already said that. What else are we going to ask it? Um, what do you think is the next step in doing so? The next step to using AI to assist humans biologically is continuing research and development. Yeah, well, of course. Brain computer interfaces. I think this this <laughs> this could open up a real can of worms. I mean, yeah, we could probably create a whole video series just on brain computer interfaces. This technology is still in an early stages of development, but the next step would involve conducting more research to improve the accuracy and safety. I think it's just uh, repeated itself here. Anyway, some interesting points made by ChatGPT, and I think that um, I think we can come up with some really um, deep conversations out of this question because you know the future is has, has happened. Basically, it's here, um, and we really need to put a leash on it uh, at the moment um, and not let it get out of control. Uh, we need to guide it in the right direction. I think there's going to be some negative things that come out of it because like any new technology, it's not always the technology which is the problem, it's the users of that technology. And unfortunately, humans don't have a great track record of um, utilizing technology always for good. And um, geez, there's a whole other video series just on that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this content and I will be posting more videos talking to ChatGPT, asking some uh, fundamental questions about the existence or about our existence and our coexistence in the future. Thanks for watching.